since we were talking about, you know, the, the job situation. You know, I had, I went over to Europe after the Army, played a couple of years in Amsterdam, and it was really good for me it was, uh, uh, to find the connections, obviously, for the instrument companies and the like. But when I came back, you know, uh, uh, to the United States, I didn't quite have a job. When I auditioned, there was one open, I think, North Carolina Symphony, and I got it. And uh, it was like 28 weeks, and the salary is like, I think, 100 bucks or $105. And you went on tour for about two weeks, and you got a dollar and a quarter for breakfast, I mean, for lunch, and maybe a dollar fifty for supper. So I was going to take the job, you know, and so I was pretty excited. Hey, it's a performing job, the only one open. And Harvey called me and said, hey, uh, there's, a, there's a job up there in Michigan or so. He says, Ravelli wants to talk to you. And I said, okay. So I called Bill Ravelli, and... Uh, and it was nice. He said, yeah. He says, what kind of degree do you have? And I said, I have a bachelor's. He said, well, call me when you get a master's. And I said, you won't believe this, what I said. I said, well, you want a play or you want a degree? You know? And Ravelli giggled. I guess because I'm Italian. I got the right connection right away. And he giggled. And he says, Dan, look at it. He says, how much money did you spend in your education? Figure it out. He says, you're going to take a job that pays that much? He said, look, at my advice to you, go get a master's and then call me. I got a master's in Illinois, opened up, boom. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I took his advice, you know, and it was great. I didn't know him from Adam, and, you know, frankly speaking, it was, it was a great thing. And, you, you know, it, your life gets at the right place at the right time, you know, and there's no turning back, okay? Now, we're going back to the formation of, of, of TUPA or so when mm -hmm. we elected president, and our goals were we had to get people involved. And like I say is... I never, when I first about TUBA, I said, so you got to be kidding me, you know, I mean, you know, I, you know. But then when we got into it and saw that the possibilities, and particularly since I was in academia, how the heck are you going to get tenure? Everybody else publishes, you know, the theorists know that we're going to do that. So the idea was Winston's doing this journal and the like, and we encourage people to write. And of course today, man, look at that was one of the really good goals. We have scholarly articles, people are taking it serious. And it's a good way to do that and build up your tenure file, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And that was one of the things we did. My job at Winston was we had to get people involved, you know? We met a lot of resistance. Oh, a lot of resistance. Like Le the Leonard Tuba Falcone. players. Yeah. I mean, most, like I said, uh, tuba players were very independently minded. Yeah. And, you know, they said, I don't need to join anything. You know, they're not real joiners. And I understand that, you know. But there were those of us that felt like yeah. that we needed this organization to get the repertoire, to get the quality of the instruments, to get gigs. And Harvey was one of the leaders in that whole thing. And, to, and you know, Harvey's best friends were not necessarily tuba players, no, no. composers. He identifies an Alex Wilder, a Gunther Schuller, he had made and he went after these York. people like a you know like a laser beam to get literature out of these people and get serious music out of these well, people. Well, you, you know how he did that at first. He was you know when he was in school at Juilliard or so. Well, he, he went, went up he to Persichetti and said, "I need a piece of music." You know, and he Persichetti was. said to him, "He says, Harvey, the great composers, all that music is available to you. They want you to play it, okay." So do that, do those transcriptions. And he, you know, light bulb went off in his head and said, yeah, hey, yeah, right, right, so I can do that. It's legitimate, just play it well and play it in a style. Mm -hmm.